um, good afternoon. Uh, I, I am giving a talk on uh, simulation and modified Erlang closed system uh, with multi-type servers and multi-type customers. Uh, in this work, we consider a combination of two Erlang type systems. Uh, first one is a modified Erlang closed system with two priority classes of customers uh, and a queue for second priority customers. Um, and the second uh, system is uh, another modified Erlang closed system uh, with multi type servers and multi type customers. Uh, next, we consider these uh, systems and uh, the combination of them. Uh, in details and uh, present stability condition of the combined uh, system. Uh, also, we present the simulation of an example of our system to verify uh, our theoretical results. Um, uh, first, we consider a modified Erlang class system with uh, J parallel identical servers and two classes of customers. Uh, the first priority customers, uh, class one, uh, are lost if find all servers busy, uh, while the second priority customers, class two, um, join an infinite capacity queue if uh, find all servers busy. Uh, moreover, moreover, class one customers uh, have absolute priority over class two customers. Uh, this means that a service of a class two customer might be interrupted by a class one customer and uh, interrupted class one customers uh, evacuate to the head of the buffer and resume uh, their service uh, as soon as the server is available. Um, we assume that uh, customers of class I follow poison input uh, with rate lambda I and have uh, independent identically distributed uh, service times, uh, SI. Uh, we denote uh, by row two the traffic intensity of class two customers and uh, let uh, PI be the stationary probability uh, that I servers are occupi occupied uh, by class one customers. Uh, such a modified land cost system is studied uh, in this paper. Um, uh, in which, uh, in particular, uh, the following st stability condition of the system is obtained, uh, mm, where the, this sum is uh, actually the expectation of number of class one customers in the system. Uh, this condition is obtained uh, using the regeneration method approach. Uh, and uh, now we consider another Lang loss system uh, with uh, multi type servers and multi type customers. Uh, in this system, each, each server uh, can serve only a limited set of classes um, of customers, uh, and different classes of customers in general uh, have different arrival rates. Um, we assume person inputs and uh, server dependent uh, service rates for different servers. Uh, and uh, this system was studied in this work. Uh, and now we can see the some results from it. Uh, we assume the process X, X of T uh, is uh, the set of numbers of uh, idle servers at time T. Uh, the state space of this process uh, S uh, is uh, all possible combinations of numbers of servers. Uh, when the system is in state S, uh, an arriving uh, class one customer of uh, subclass I uh, of, of class I uh, will choose the server G J uh, with um, probability P I J of S. Uh, these assignment probabilities are the control par parameters uh, that we can choose to obtain uh, a stationary distribution of uh, this system. Um, and uh, the main result uh, is that uh, one can choose the assignment probabilities uh, in such a way that one can obtain the stationary distribution of the process X of T. Uh, this uh, product form stationary distribution and uh, condition for assignment probabilities 
will be shown uh, next in an example. Um, in our work, we combine the systems uh, in such a way that uh, each server can serve only a limited set of um, subclasses of class one customers. Um, and the different subclasses of uh, customers have different arrival rates. Uh, we assume uh, person input inputs uh, for the sets of priority subclasses and uh, the same uh, service rates for all servers. Uh, class two customers uh, belong to only one type and can be served by any server uh, and also have person inputs and general service times. Um, it is easy to, uh, it is clear that uh, the stationary probabilities uh, in this system are the same as in multi-type system. Uh, since the uh, second priority customers uh, do not affect the assignment and uh, the service of the first priority customers. Uh, moreover, we show that uh, the stability condition of the priority system is also the stability condition of this combined uh, system provided the service rates uh, are the same for all servers. Uh, and therefore, uh, one can use found stationary probabilities uh, PI uh, to obtain uh, stability condition one uh, of our extended system. Uh, this condition is uh, here. Okay. And um, we note that uh, this condition is uh, correct for our combined, combined system uh, if the assignment probabilities of class one customers satisfy um, some equation system uh, uh, that we show in an example below. Uh, in turn, this system is adapted from um, the work or the, from this work. Um, now we consider an example of this combined system uh, to show the stationary uh, and assignment probabilities. Uh, um, let um, we have three servers uh, and uh, two um, subclasses of uh, class one customers uh, and uh, class two customer, class, class two customers. Um, and um, uh, subclass two uh, cannot serve by uh, server free. Um, for this example, we obtained uh, the following uh, stationary distribution of the process X of T uh, where uh, P, uh, for example, pi of um, one uh, is the probability uh, that um, um, server one uh, is idle uh, in the stationary and um, uh, and other are busy. And um, this probability is that uh, all servers are idle. Um, but uh, we know that um, um, uh, this probability is, all, is that all servers are idle uh, by class one customers, but uh, may be uh, but may be busy by class two customers. Um, Next, we uh, can write down uh, the stationary probabilities by pi using uh, uh, the previous um, the probabilities pi of s in such a way. Um, there is um, the uh, assignment probabilities of uh, our example. Um, and um, mm, it is easy to see that um, uh, some probabilities 
uh, can be varied. Um, uh, there you can see um, uh, six um, cases of uh, assignment probabilities. Um, four from them is uh, violate uh, this um, system and uh, two of, uh, of these cases are uh, satisfied uh, this system. Um, uh, delta of G uh, is um, the Euclidean distance uh, between um, between uh, these uh, theoretical probabilities and um, probabilities obtained in uh, simulation. And uh, you can see that um, uh, Okay, uh, the last two cases um, in, in the last two cases uh, delta is uh, very small so uh, it means that uh, mm, uh, simulation probabilities are um, very close to theoretical probabilities but uh, in the um, in the first four rows um, delta of t is um, much more large um, uh, here you can see the um, difference between theoretical and uh, simulated stationary probabilities uh, delta t uh, in, um, which is simulated in time uh, and um, mm, for case A that corresponds to row 3 or row uh, of, of, for case for case three, uh, A um, corresponds to row uh, 5 this and um, it is easy to see that it um, mm, it uh, goes to zero, uh, but uh, cases B and C uh, that are not satisfied um, this system um, are um, more uh, not not goes to zero. Mm, in this um, um, figure, mm, you can see the number of losses uh, per time in gen interval uh, zero g. Um, uh, here. Um, the green line, uh, case C, uh, corresponds to uh, corresponds to uh, row five. This uh, that satisfied uh, our system. Uh, and uh, case uh, A, B, and G are not satisfied. Uh, uh, it is interesting because uh, case D is uh, uh, lower than case C, uh, but uh, it is row two and it is not satisfied uh, our equation um, system. Uh, so uh, we can um, say that uh, Mm. this uh, system is uh, not um, minimizing a uh, number of losses uh, in general uh, and uh, in future in, in future we uh, plans to 
uh, explore this uh, moment. And uh, here you can see the sample mean queue size of class two customers for Pareto service times. Um, uh, for um, case in row, for case row one, uh, it is um, a satisfied equation system, and um, uh, here you can see the different number of uh, row two. Uh, in this example, uh, stability condition uh, of the system becomes that row two is uh, less than uh, 1.5. Uh, and uh, uh, we can see that um, simulation is uh, confirmed that uh, th this uh, stability condition. Um, in conclusion, uh, uh, simulation illustrates uh, that assignment probabilities that satisfy uh, conditions in our example cause the product form of stationary distribution. Uh, we show that uh, the stability condition holds for our example um, and uh, simulation, but sim however simulation the number of losses uh, shows that uh, product form distribution is not optimal to minimize the losses. Uh, and um, Mm, that's why in a future uh, research, we consider the relations between stationary distribution and number of losses with the arm of losses minimization. Um, thank you for your attention.